LeBron James has basically said that Kevin Durant should absolutely win the MVP this year. Now, before we get into our take, let's just provide you with some of the numbers. If we can, pull up the graphic via ESPN.com. Here is essentially, side by side, points per game. Uh, Kevin Durant up by five, and he's also, uh, I believe, is he up by five on Carmelo Anthony as well? I'm not 100% sure, but I, I believe he's also up on uh, Carmelo by a few points. Field goal percentage, it's a little different with their styles and whatnot, but Kevin Durant essentially takes more shots, so he's going to have a lesser field goal percentage. Same with three-point percentage. I'm surprised that he's ahead of LeBron James, who has greatly improved his three-point game. Rebounds per game, Kevin Durant absolutely killing it. And assists per game, again, Kevin Durant did not have Russell Westbrook. Doesn't have great shooters around him. So his assists per game are going to be down. Leave that up for just one moment if we can, Mike. When you see this, not, a, not even just based on the numbers alone, but when you see this, Drew, do you think Kevin Durant should win the MVP? Uh, yes. Why? I mean, what, just straight, strictly numbers? When we see, oh, that's yes. So Numbers, but just overall in 2014, 2013, yeah, 2014. Uh, 100%. Like he said, LeBron said it perfectly. He's the most consistent all year. LeBron has like a peak. He had a couple of nights. They had the 61 game. That month of February was ridiculous. But then some games he was, I mean, some games he was, I wouldn't say he didn't show up, but he didn't score as well as he did. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you, can't, you can argue with LeBron having not D-Wade, but... Durant didn't have Westbrook. Yep. You know, so mm -hmm. it's like, so there's everything, everything, I feel like he finally, real, real recognizes real. LeBron finally realizes that, I mean, he's got four of them, so it's not yeah. like he's, you know, I think he's just, I and mean, I think sooner or later they're going to, you're going to realize, like, can't win every single one. And he's like, kind of real, you know, recognizes that this guy had a better year than me. Not saying that he's better than me, but he's right. a better year than me. At one point, it was like so unanimous that Durant was going to win the MVP. For sure. And then suddenly LeBron, you know, they get a little win streak that going. February, and then Dwayne Wade oh, is injured, and then yeah. it's like, oh, well, look at LeBron. I mean, you know, the yeah. spotlight needs to be on him as well, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So let me read that quote really quickly. I would say he's the most consistent basketball player as far as the MVP this year. Man, he's put up some great numbers. I think KD has had one heck of a season. And, you know, if he's rewarded with the MVP, it would be great. It would be awesome for him, for his family. He's played MVP-type basketball. I don't really get caught up into what people say. At the end of the day, they have their own votes, and they go from there. So obviously, it's a lot of media people that are voting. Oh, sure. But it seems like, it truly seems like, you know, when you lose your running mate, especially on a team like Oklahoma City, who has lost so many good players, whether it's James Harden or they lost Kevin Martin going into this year to the Timberwolves or, you know, they, they, up, they tried to upgrade with Jeremy Lamb and they lose a few role players and Karan. whatnot. They get Karan with them, right? And they, well, they gain Karan Butler, sure. Yeah. But, you know, they lose all these players and then it's like, look at who he's surrounded by. I mean, he has Reggie Jackson. He has Jeremy Lamb. He still has Ibaka, which is yeah. fine. You know, Ibaka's a solid, solid number four. But when you look at what he's done and the win streak that they had and putting up 25 plus points per game for how many games? 41, 41 games. straight games. I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah. That's putting a team on your back the whole and saying, like, I'm the star, get me the ball. And you watch those games, fourth quarter, it's a lot of isolation and Kevin Durant basically taking them to the promised land I mean, and winning. It, I swear it it's kind of reminds me of like a Kobe kind of where everybody knows you, he's getting the ball. Yep. And he still scores. Yep. So you're like, okay. And for 41 games, and you know, it's half the season. So, do you consider going zone in those late fourth quarters? I don't know, because he can shoot the shit out of the ball. Yeah. You know, from deep. So, it's not yeah. like he, he starts getting hot of the zone killer. He starts hitting threes. And he's killer. shooting 50% from the field. I mean, it's but ridiculous. I think, I think the way LeBron sounded too on the quotes, and I think yeah. KD wants the MVP, but I think now it's like they don't care. They don't care about this. They don't care. They want championships. Totally. They're like, I think they're at the point now, they're old enough. Now, it's not like the young kids are just trying to make a market. They're like, okay, great, I got all these accolades now. Even KD, like, they set out KD to stop the streak. He set out the four, he had 23 points in the third quarter, and they, they didn't play him in the fourth quarter. So he yeah. could have kept the streak going. <laughs> but I think he, he might even ask the coach, like, man, stop this so they stop talking about it. So right. we get this game. Well, now so, it's going to this. Though. Right. Now, that, that's they, the thing. Yeah, now There's it goes to this. There's always headlines that we need I to think they both to. realize that they want the chance. They don't care about it. KD is going to be happy because this is, this is his first MVP. No doubt about it. Yeah. But uh, LeBron Moore is like, okay, I think he's playing great, good. I got four championships. I'll see you in the finals. I still think if Chris Paul wasn't injured, he could have been a 
he would have been up there in contention for the MVP. I don't know if he would have won it. up there. Because Kevin DeRue. Blake's who? up there. Blake Griffin. For sure. But he's not there. He's like, right it's, there. It's pretty clear cut that it's either Kevin Durant or LeBron James, but Blake Griffin certainly is Blake number Griffin three. Was best, I'm just saying. was the best player in the Clippers this year. I'm just saying, oh, absolutely, because Chris Paul missed so much time. But if Chris Paul were healthy, he'd be up there. He's one of the most fun players to watch yeah, in the NBA. Yeah, fun.